Hello, everyone. Since it's officially October... Yeah. Uh, since it's, it's officially October, I thought I'd do an unboxing of the SNES Classic Edition. Now, I actually picked this up on launch day, but... Uh, the thing is, I wanted to wait till October so I could be the crew. And, um... <laughs> The other thing is, anything Nintendo related, I always post it on a Thursday. Don't ask. Now, um, th the Friday on the launch day, you know, September 29th, um, I actually walked down to my local Walmart, because it's only right up the street, and it was like a nice day out, so I was like, eh, I'm gonna walk. So, uh, I got there around 9 a.m., and when I went to the electronics store, um, I asked the woman, she said, we have one left, and I was like, oh, thank God. Uh, <laughs> and... Yeah, the, um, after I checked out, some girl came up after me and she was like, is there any left? And, like, and then uh, as I was leaving, I guess I could say I made the mistake of walking by the service desk and I don't think they were too thrilled because <laughs> um, they were probably trying to hold one or something, but hey, you'll get another chance. Don't don't pay the scalpers. I Out of curiosity, I went on eBay and you know, on launch day, there they were. I think the most expensive one I saw was about 500 bucks. You know, eventually, they're gonna piss off the wrong person. You know, with the, the internet today, you can find out. Yeah, never mind. But anyway, so let's see. We got Star Fox 2, never released. Super Mario World, Donkey Kong Country, F Zero, Super Mario Kart, Legend of Zelda: Link to the Past, and more. Now, um, this is actually my favorite console of all time, which I've said that a thousand times before. But um, that's why, like, this one is the only one I really have any interest in. Um, the NES one, which they're bringing it back, uh, I don't know if I'll get that one or not. And the same with, like, the N if they do an N64, like, uh, I don't know, I'll probably pass, but I'll watch, like, an unboxing video and stuff, because I'm curious to see what the controller will look like, compared to, like, the miniature console. Let's get this thing open. Mm -hmm. Nope. Next side. They are actually releasing a lot more. I'm pretty sure they're really enforcing the uh, the um, one per customer thing. You know, I, uh, I saw somebody said they had like 50 plus of them at Target. Holy shit, this thing is tiny. The tell just by looking at it. It's funny, the box is heavy as hell, but this thing weighs n next to nothing. Oh my god! They did exactly what I thought. It's little, little miniature switches. That's friggin' adorable. I don't think the eject button does anything. Good. Let's compare it to the original one. Jesus! What if you can... Oh, doesn't fit. That's what she said. Wow. Now let's look at the control. Yeah, I put that there for something to see. I'm not going to want to see how the control is at. feel a little weird. The material right here feels a little funny. Hmm. Not bad, though. Let's compare it to one of the original controllers. Um. Hmm. Not bad, actually. Yeah, see, the original one is a lot smoother on the back. This one is a little... It's not bumpy, necessarily, but it's kind of... Feel... It's hard to describe. It almost feels like a blanket or something. It's hard to describe. Definitely a lot cleaner than my original one, because this one's old as hell. The controller here. Didn't need to see that, they're pretty much the same thing. This, we have... There's the plugs. Plugs it into the system. Oh, they use that U... Oh, wait! This is for the USB thing. USB cord, so... Which means you'll be able to plug this into your computer, which means maybe you can be modded like the NES one. Ah, here's the cord that plugs into you. This is the thing. Let's see what it looks like when we plug one of these controllers in. These tiny little bolt things. I'm kind of thinking, where the hell do you plug the cord? Teensy little twist tie there. Come on, you son of a... Ugh. Ugh, there we go. Alright. Oh, they 
still use that little thing. Just that enough. What the hell do you plug it in? That's what she said. Uh... Okay. How do you plug it in? Does this come out? I'm gonna break the damn thing. Oh, here we go. This opens up. This little front part right here. That's interesting. Come on, bend down. That's what. Uh, control plugs right in there, and you're good to go. That's funny. So many people are saying like, "Oh, but you could just emulate on the PC, or um, you could um, you know, build a Raspberry Pi." That's true, and it's obviously a hell of a lot cheaper. But the thing is. It's like, well, to quote Dr. Evil, you just don't get it. You, you don't. I'm losing my crow here. <laughs> um, uh, the thing is, the majority of people who want these things are collectors. And of course, I mean, I'm going to play it, of course, but, you know, well, I am a collector. And the other uh, big portion of people who want these things are casual gamers, or even, like, less than casual gamers. I've talked about this before. People who you know, work, like, 40 hours a week or, or more have a family and stuff, and they just want to play something for, like, I don't know, half an hour or so, which there's plenty of games on here that, that you could do that with. Um, yeah. <laughs> Where was I? Um, now the collect... Uh, I can't get over... I can't... I'm sorry. The little miniature switches. That's amazing how they did that. I wonder if the light comes on when you turn it on. I'm sure it does. I didn't... Um, what was it? Something else I wanted to say. But yeah, it's, I'm glad that they are mass-producing these a lot more, like they have learned. They're bringing back the NES Classic, which is good, because these things will sell. And I, I've said this before, I think majority of, like, casuals that will buy this, I doubt they'll buy the Switch. Maybe. Maybe some of them will, but not all of them. Like, because I know they're just trying to build up hype around the, the Switch and all that, but... Yeah, there's definitely money to be made with these things. Um, you know, so, like I said, be patient. Don't, uh, you know, you'll find one. Don't pay the scalpers. Don't give them money. Um, and I will admit that this thing definitely could have used some more games. I mean, there's definitely some ones that I would have loved to see on here. Actually, it has them all listed right here. Um, what was I? I mean, you know, I made a whole video about games I would have loved to see on here, and half of them aren't, but... Like I said, you know, somebody's gonna figure out a way to mod this thing, you know. And it comes with the... The plug to plug it into your computer, you know. That's how it pretty much worked with the NES Classic Edition, so... That being said... You guys gonna pick this thing up? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you haven't already, hit that big ol' red subscribe button, and thanks for watching. I gotta go hook this thing up, or better yet, I gotta fire it up, fire it up!